Hello, my name is Megan Walsh. I am here to analyze um, George Orwell's 1984 um, and just basically comparing it to how the plot of this book can really be compared to the reality that we're living in now, especially in the instance of the whole coronavirus pandemic and just how our government functions and just just some stuff that I've kind of researched. So yeah, <laughs> so just some background of this book. Um, Winston Smith is the main character and he's living in a totalitarian government. Um, so basically the government controls every aspect of life, which um, Winston is employed under the Ministry of Truth, which is his job is to basically rewrite, rewrite history. Um, so it is what um, the leader who is Big, Big Brother, um, there's a couple of different classes. So Big Brother is the main like highest of power um what big brother says is what goes like you can't go behind his back because there's a huge telescreen that he's always watching you and at the beginning of this book um there was a bunch of propaganda and a bunch of posters in the streets saying you know big brother is watching you um and then we have the inner party which is representing the upper class and basically they enforce what big brother wants um because they are the closest to big brother in sense of power and I guess just like financial status. Um, Winston is um, part of the outer party, which is the working class um, or the middle class. And the pros are the working class, the lower class that Big Brother doesn't really care about because they don't have that much power. But in reality, if they all banded together, they probably would have a lot of power. <laughs> so some key um, concepts of this book that I wanted to discuss to lead up to my research is um the concept of double think so if big brother tells you something like say you have an orange and big brother says that this orange is an apple um then it's an apple and if you refer to it as an orange that's called thought crime even if you're thinking it because you're going against what you know or to compare to what big brother and the government is telling you to um, to know and understand so when you're rewriting history you know, that's where issues come into play. And it's kind of ironic that um, Winston's job is to rewrite history, yet he's so against changing history. Um, another concept is um, the idea of newspeak, where the whole language has changed. So you're taking words out of the dictionary just to narrow the range of thought to kind of limit the amount of thought crime that goes on and just narrow the range of thought so we don't get vaporized for committing thought crime. So my key point is basically um, the government is always right and they only want you to know so much so you don't have so much power over them. So that's where I'm going to compare it to kind of today's world and where we're at right now with everything that's going on. <laughs> so now I have a quote that I've picked out from the reading. It's on page 253 and it's when O'Brien um, has Winston in room 101 trying to convince him that um, two plus two equals five. So page 253, um, we are not interested in those stupid crimes that you have committed. The party is not interested in the overt act. The thought is all we care about. So that line that says, the thought is all we care about. The thought of, you know, double think or thought crime um, is what I'm gonna compare to today's world and just what we're dealing with with the whole coronavirus thing. So I was reading a New York Times article that was basically stating that we were kind of, you know, we have the upper hand on this coronavirus, you know, cases are going down, there's not as many diagnoses in the world. Something that's a little strange to me is that, so this whole, this virus came from China. And in China, there is about 82,862 cases. But, and this information has been unproven, but there's multiple you know, new, big news sources that are saying 21 million cell phone accounts have been shut down, shut off. So why, if there's only 82,862 cases in China as, as of today, why are there 21 million cell phones just cut off? I guess logically speaking, 21 million people don't just shut their phones off all at once like cancel their plans you know shut not just like power them off just like they just disappeared like these accounts are just gone and it's it's just strange that 
the amount of cases are so low it makes you wonder like in 1984 you know they're keeping a bunch of information from them like the actual history you know the actual english language but they're turning it into newspeak but it's in reality it's more so you know are we living in a state where they don't they're they want to withhold information from us just to keep us from you know continuing this quarantine or doing stuff that we don't necessarily want to do right now but it's necessary so another point of research that i've kind of gathered and analyzed um in comparison to 1984 um so there are 82,862 confirmed cases in China as of like right now, as of today. Yet according to AEI.gov, um, they're really estimating the true number of confirmed cases of COVID-19 in China. You know, China is a communist party. So the chances of us getting true information from them to begin with, or any information to begin with, is pretty slim. But they are estimating about 2.9 million cases total in China, which is closer to 21 million if that info is true, though it's still significantly lower. I guess my whole argument is um, Big Brother really tends to change history and hide stuff from the citizens to make it seem like a utopia, but in reality it's a dystopia. Um, I guess it just makes you wonder how far are we from becoming that without even knowing it or realizing it. So yeah, thanks for watching.